My name is Kaylee Plowman and I live in Paulson, Montana. I have three kids, uh, two girls and a boy, and when I was pregnant with my little boy, Evett, um, I went to my 20-week anatomy scan and they had a hard time visualizing his heart. So I came back and they said they his position was challenging and that um, everything looked okay, but they still couldn't see the left side of his heart, that I needed to go see a specialist. And so I went to go see a maternal fetal medicine physician and got another scan. And during that appointment, the maternal fetal medicine doctor told me that my son had hypoplastic left heart syndrome. And the reason why they couldn't see the left side of his heart was because it wasn't there. that his left side of his heart never developed and that he was going to need three surgeries and that ultimately those surgeries wouldn't fix the problem but they would give him a chance of life and that we would need to relocate from our home in Paulson, Montana and um, have these surgeries done at a big center where they could handle um, you know, a critical heart defect. With my husband and my two other kids, we moved to Denver, Colorado, and um, I delivered in Denver, and um, on its eighth day of life, he got the first of the three open heart surgeries to um, make his heart functional. My son had his Norwood procedure on his eighth day of life, and he did really well with the surgery. Uh, he was only inpatient, I think, for 16 days after his surgery, but um, we had to remain in Denver due to the critical period between his first and second surgeries. And during that interstage time between those two critical surgeries, uh, we definitely had a lot of bumps in the road and some frequent hospitalizations, but he did get his uh, second stage surgery done and we were able to eventually come back to Montana. So the problem with congenital heart defects uh, and surgical repair of those defects is that it doesn't fix the problem. And I think one of the biggest things that people don't know is, generally speaking, children with heart defects look healthy and they look strong, but these surgeries aren't a fix. It's just a matter of time before that single pumping chamber wears out and he goes into heart failure. So they've only been doing these surgeries for 30 plus years and prior to the three-stage palliation, families who had a baby that was born with hypoplastic left heart syndrome just kind of had to hold their baby till they died. And so we're super grateful because we've gotten this time with our son Evett and I think when you have this time and you watch your baby grow, you just want more. And you look at him and you don't want to worry about his longevity. So my husband and I felt compelled and our family felt compelled to um, start a nonprofit to be part of the solution. And part of that solution is raising some money for CHD research. And I think the big thing that I learned from the heart community was that CHD research is incredibly underfunded and that the science is there and the infrastructure is there, but the funding isn't there. And when I was interstage between my son's first and second surgeries and I would get really sad or worried about his longevity, I would 
uh, scour the internet for hope and one of the organizations that gave me hope was uh, HeartWorks. We build hearts and they work in conjunction with Mayo Clinic and they're using stem cells to strengthen the single pumping chamber of a child that is affected or an adult that is affected by single ventricle circulation. So I created a nonprofit in my son's name, Evitz Hope, to raise money for HeartWorks. So that way when my son goes into heart failure, that maybe there are some options for him. Follow our story on social media at Evitz Hope for future fundraising events to raise money for congenital heart defect research.